Hello everybody and welcome back and today I wanted to just real quick show off some workshop maps I hope to see in the TF2 Summer 2024 update. Um, first off we have Heart of Oak which is a control point map and it's been on the workshop since 2017 but is a really cool looking um, like a jungle temple in the middle of like a ginormous forest almost really unique looking um yeah this i hope i hope to see this one and I, I this was on my list last year but never made it in so hope to see it in uh on the next one up next we have power works which is a control point attack and defense map it was posted at on february 3rd of this year and it gives me well vibes but without the bad gameplay and yeah uh i do like the uh fact that they have a rookie statue since they took their set of game but yeah this i would like to see this one in but uh yeah on to the next one up next we have jerry can which is a payload map and was one of the first maps that i actually uh took a look at when i started looking for uh maps for the summer 2024 update and this one has like a classic modern feel like it feels it has the same feel as like dust bowl but with like a modern take like there's more modern like props and stuff like that it makes it it feels like yeah it feels like up to date compared uh with more of a classic team fortress 2 feel this the, i would not be upset if this one got it i actually would like to see this one but uh yeah on the next one up next we have Yokohama, which is a payload map posted on April 21st. This map feels a lot like Kong King as an aesthetic, except uh, more of the daytime. This this map is uh, kind of cramped, not gonna lie, but uh, good looking. Now, I haven't played this with others, I've just looked around on it. This, so I don't know how this one would play, but it looks nice. Um, I would kind of leave that up to some of the other people in the community to check out and see how it plays, because I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you. But most of these maps, I'm not going to be able to tell you how good they play, just how good they look from me going on them and just walking around looking at them. Like, that's that's mostly what I'm going to... I'm just going to be using the opinion of what they look like from walking around on the map. How they feel. I can point out some things like, hey, this this one feels a bit cramped in a lot of areas, but other than that, I'm not going to be able to tell you how they play. So, keep that in mind going forward. <laughs> so, uh, on to the next one. Up next we have Dry Pine, which was one of the ones that I wanted in last year, it was in my top 10 list last year. But uh, this is an attack defense map, and it is really cool looking. It, it, I, I like the way this wood looks, and there are some areas that I think need to be worked on as far as for gameplay, because I did notice when I was walking around on this map, at the first control point, there is an area in which you can place a sentry when you probably shouldn't be able to. Uh, let's see. Right, if you see that barn right there, that opening, you can get up there, right above that A sign. You can get up there, and you can actually place a sentry there. So, unless they've patched that in the la since the last time I tested this, which this was not even a, a couple weeks ago that I looked at that, uh, which it says the last time it was updated was April 30th. Uh, 2023 so probably not uh, that might need to be fixed but other than that it is, it's a really good looking map and there's also uh, if you all have seen the map overgrown this train track right here the train goes through it right but like on overgrown which is a unique crash map you can jump on the uh, one of the carts on the train and it'll just take you from one side of the map to the complete other in a heartbeat so that's that's cool um but yeah uh 
hopefully this one will get in this year. But uh, like I said at first, I hope that they would patch that so that you can't put a sentry down up there on uh, the first uh, control point. Uh, but yeah, on the next one. Up next we have Escarpment. I'm probably botching that. Escarpment. Yeah. Uh, which is a payload map and it's been on the workshop since 2015. But uh, yeah, this map is really nice looking. It has a really nice mountainous feel, which uh, honestly, I I've saw this one on the workshop a couple years ago. It was one of the maps that just narrowly missed uh, my top 10 list last year, which if you, you're going to notice, this isn't even a top 10 list, just going through. <laughs> A bunch of maps that I like because there's so many of them this year and so many of them that didn't get in last year but um yeah this one is really nice I like the bridge uh, and I like the, yeah this comes down grabs the the log when you're trying to go through with the payload which is is, is kind of cool you're gonna you have to protect the cart for a little bit while the crane comes down grabs the log up and takes it away so keep that in mind if it does get in, the map does get in. <laughs> but uh, yeah, on to the next one. Up next we have uh, Kach Kachuria. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna be able to say this. All right, you see it? That's the map. Okay, it's King in the Hill, and uh, this is actually a part of the Tropic Crisis um, community update that they are trying to push Valve to add to the game for the summer update. This is the only map that I saw that I actually liked that kind of plays well. I play tested it on the uh, Tropic Crisis server. Um, this is the only one that looks good and plays good. The other ones kind of don't play well and one of them, like I, I said, I, I mentioned it earlier, Overgrown which is the U Lake crash map, which hasn't been added since he made it a couple years ago. Uh, not one of Crash's best maps, but uh, yeah, I this is the only one I want out of the Tropic Crisis maps. There's some good ones like the one with the casino. Uh, there's Salvador, but this one is the one that plays the best in my opinion. So. This is the one I have on my list, uh, but yeah. And there's Piranhas, Piranhas can eat you. It's on the next map. The first of two um, frontline maps that are in this list, uh, Lutengriff, I believe this is Lutengriff is, this, is how it's pronounced. It's a King of the Hill map. Uh, like I said, it was from the Frontline community update that never actually happened, thanks to Valve and s stuff that happened within the community that was making the update. Um, this map I is really fun to play on, and <laughs> I like the bombs that drop in the center every now and then. It's like, I, th I want to say every 50, 50 seconds, I think. I I'm not sure the exact time. Maybe a minute, I think. But yeah, this map is is really really fun to play on. Uh, it's it's a nice King of the Hill map if you if that's the type of uh, game mode you you're, you like. But yeah, that's the layout. Uh, hopefully this one gets in rotation. But uh, if not. It's all right. We it, we see it a lot on community maps, anyway. So, all right. On the next one. Up next we have Gator Lake, which is a King of the Hill map that released on the workshop um, during August 26, 2021. And this map, I believe I've I saw this one at first on TF2Maps.net. It was a really cool like a uh, uh, map that I saw on there back when it was getting made, and yeah, it was. I haven't played it with others yet, but 
Honestly, it looks nice, and we don't have. I don't, I don't think how many. I don't think we have any swampy maps for the normal um, map rotation. I think we only have swampy maps in uh, Scream Fortress, don't we? I might be wrong. Comment down below if I'm wrong, but I would love to see this one added so we can have an actual swampy map in uh, normal map rotation. And that's not including um, the maps from uh, Jungle Inferno. Because I know they got alligators and stuff, but that's not like swamp, swamp. So, yeah, I, I, I want to see this one. I uh, only got 122 ratings, but yeah, yeah, on a nice one. Up next we have Monkey Knot, which is a Capture the Flag specialty map, and unfortunately, looking at the ratings, it's only got 983 ratings, which I'm wondering if that's only because of the Tropic Crisis stuff that's been advertised heavily wondering if that people have just skipped over monkey knot because honestly i thought this one would be one, the one that would be uh rated highly and the you know every year we have a map that's rated extremely highly from the community and usually ends up getting in i thought this would be that map but it only has 983 ratings which is kind of sad so instead of having um a flag you capture you have uh, a monkey. You have a little monkey. You just pick him up, he grabs onto your back, and you, he just sits on your shoulder. <laughs> and you take him. And, and the funny part is, he, he can walk around this entire area. So there's just a walking flag, basically. Walking around this entire area, you just gotta go pick him up. Take, you know, take him to your control, uh, not your, 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 yeah, control point, whatever it's called. Capture it. Capture the monkey. That's what we're doing. Capture the monkey now. What is what is Team Fortress 2 coming to? <laughs> Alright, on to the next one. Up next we have Logwatch, which was on my list last year and didn't get added. And uh, since then, which I didn't make a video for my top 10 Swissmas maps that I wanted last year, but uh, they actually made... Uh, Ramkin went ahead and re-textured uh, this map so it was... Uh, What's it called? Frost. I think it was Frost Wash or something like that. Well, uh, Log Frost. I can't remember the name, but it was a, a Swissmas version of this map. This map, I, 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 I hope that this gets in. Last year, Ramkin got. Uh, oh, what was that map? Um, last year, Ramkin got Rotunda in the game, so that's probably why this one wasn't added. But hopefully, this year, this one could possibly be added but i don't know if this one would outdo um ramkin's latest match uh, map which you'll see later on on this list so no spoilers but uh the other one might outshine this king of the hill map so uh yeah we'll we'll, t we'll talk a little bit about this later uh this next the one i'm talking about later but uh yeah on the next map up next, we have Nix Nixie, which is a map that I wanted last year. You're seeing a lot of maps that I wanted last year that didn't get added, but at the same time, my number one map got added, which was Sulphur, and the community hated it because of how messy it is. So, um, Nixie, National Forest, Utah. This map is a really nice looking map. It's a control point slash attack and defense map. Came out April 24th of 2023. Uh, don't know how it plays because I haven't played it with anybody else, but really nice looking map. I would love for someone to play test half these maps and have a review on YouTube so that the people who are seeing this can say, hey, okay, this is how it plays and this is how it looks, okay? Because I can't show that because no one plays Team Fortress 2 with me. I am sad. And what's even sadder, it only has 453 ratings. Um, uh, yeah. Oh, the next one. Up next, we have Fragile, which is a King of the Hill map in 
Quite frankly, if you're scared of tornadoes, this map is not for you. But if you do like tornadoes and you want to see something fresh in the game, add this map valve. This map has a tornado, and it sweeps through the map and sucks up most of the stuff. So, add this map. Please, add this map. This is a cool map. It has a tornado. It goes through the map twice within the round. Add this map, Valve. Add this map. Up next, we have the second frontline map of this video, Shore Leave, which is a payload and attack defense map. This map has been on the workshop since December 21st, 2017. That's the same year the Jungle Inferno update came out, the last update of TF2. We need to see this map finally come to the game this summer. I it, it's It's been sitting there on the workshop for so long, and it, I think the only reason Valve hasn't added it is because it has the frontline tag. This map, has it, it's, it's so good, and as far as I'm aware, it plays super well, so the fact that it hasn't been added yet, it's just a very, very upsetting, very crunchy. Um, and this has to... <laughs> yeah, look at the ratings. Just see how many people want this map. Like, seriously. They did such a good job on this map. Uh, it needs to be added. Um, but, yeah. And, uh, the, the, the boats... They got little nice little boats, which uh, I think these boats are better known for being on fish ladder, but that's not in this video, so yeah, on the next one, they better add this one as well. Up next we have a very, very, uh, very good map that I've wanted for a while, and most of y'all have probably played this map on Uncle Topia. This map is Fulgur, and this was also in my video last year. It's a control point attack defense map, and it is themed after, like, uh, you know how James Bond movies have a villain that has an evil lair? This is supposed to be uh, based around an evil lair for a villain from, like, a Bond, James Bond movie. Um... This, this map, I've, I've been wanting this map for a very, very long time. And uh, I have had the um, fortunate, uh, uh, the ability to, like I said, it's on Uncletopia. I've been able to play this, uh, so I have tested this map, and it is really fun to play on. So th hopefully this map actually f gets put into the game this summer, finally. Yeah, it says it's only been out since 2020, but I, I swore it's been out, oof, like, earlier than that. I thought it came out on the workshop uh, much earlier than that, but I guess I'm wrong. Up next, we have King of the Hill Brine, which, uh, if you remember last year, this was one of my most wanted maps of last summer. Never got added, but at least we got slime which was uh, the Halloween reskin of this map, which got added in the Scream Fortress update last year. That map was very fun, and this one is too. The only thing this is not gonna have is slime men. But at least if they added the Halloween map, maybe they'll add the, uh, the normal uh, year round map, which I would like. I like the fog in the background. I like most of the things that are in this map. You have a nice view of the ocean with the sun to, the, uh, to that one side, and then the other side you have a very foggy coastline, which is really nice looking too. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, uh, if you played on slime, you know how this one would play. Um, and it, it does have a lot of ratings, 3,000. 217 so uh, it's very well liked so hopefully this one gets in uh, if not at least we got slime so one of the, the let's see how many we got left two yeah one of the one before last up next we have Ramkin's latest map being Applejack capture the flag which gives me a 
So if y- y'all most likely played Harvest, at which y'all should have, if you played Team Fortress 2, you bound to play Harvest because that's like one of the top five maps that's always played besides Two Fort and Turbine being probably the two, uh, maybe Upward being beating those out, but Dust Bowl, I don't know. But this one gives me Harvest vibes. But it feels like a better version of Harvest as far as looks. Now, as far as it playing like Harvest, probably not. It does feel like you have a better, a bet, a better amount of cover. Um, so you're not gonna come out of spawn, go around one building, and then be shot by a sniper. Or you're not gonna have uh, as me- as much spawn camping, right? This seems to be. It's a bit further away from uh, this, this. You know, it's a bit further away. But at the same time, it is a capture the flag instead of a king of the hill map, so it's going to be like that. It's better in that. It's just... it, it, it it's it's not two fort, which honestly I feel like this map is better than two fort. Don't cancel me for that but that's my opinion uh i play on two four basically every day and that's just because that's the only map that skyle plays on their servers for the most part other than turbine so yeah back to applejack though they do have uh they did add new texture work to a lot of stuff so new assets and stuff they haven't they have this new apple uh Apple texture, I guess, is what it would be. In the back of trucks, and some, uh, I believe they have them in some, like, barrels, I think, somewhere else on the map. Uh, towards mid, I think, or is it, nope, that's just trucks, they, okay. Well, they also have the green apples to, for the blue side, and then they have the red, normal red apples on the red side. Which is cool. And, yeah, uh, what was the other thing? Uh... Right there, the barrels are custom done. They have apples, red apples, blue. Yeah, they're making apple cider, I think, in blue is what they're supposed to be doing. But I do like the aesthetic of this map in general. And I hope this this one needs to be added into the uh, the rotation. I think this one would, uh, everyone would probably stop playing turbine and two fort as much if they had another good capture the flag map and i think this one would be it so uh good luck ramp on getting this in the game it's really good and i hope it gets in the last map we have today is payload shatter which is a night summer theme map and was added december 29th 2023 to the workshop and this one it is a really nice rainy map i played on this one it is really good i honestly i can't wait to see, i want this in the game this map plays really well and looks really good and yeah i, I don't know what else to say it's just really good and no one votes for it it has 138 ratings all of y'all need to go over and give this map some love. Give Fishbus some love, please. This map is really good. So, without further ado, that will do us for today. Um, Make sure to like and subscribe. I don't know why I'm saying this, because quite frankly, I shouldn't be asking y'all to like and subscribe. I just don't know what else to say other than like this map and show some support for all the creators of these maps that i've shown off today they're really good and yeah valve add this map i'll see you all in the next one goodbye and thank you